Okay, I want to thank those of you who have done videos. I really appreciate it, and I know that there's a lot of people who also appreciate it as well. Um, but if you if you do want me to link your channel to my channel, like put it in my other channel section, then just send me an email or something, or leave a comment on my profile and just say, hey, could you link my page? Um, because I don't know, you know, maybe some people don't really want it there. I don't know. I just want to be sure before I go throwing a bunch of links up on my page. So if you have um, recently made videos and you would like your link on my page, then just let me know somehow through a message or comment or send it to my email, which by the way is cal, K-A-L, 32205 at gmail.com. Um, I did recently add another link, um, so if you check the other channels box on my main channel page, then you can check his page out. He's got his first video up, and he's pretty awesome, so check that out. Uh, so that's that. And then next is I got a message from a woman who um, is in need of dental work, but uh, she's a homemaker. She doesn't have any income. She um, or she doesn't have any way to pay for dental work, basically. No dental insurance or anything. And even if you have dental insurance, I mean, unless you've got the money to cover the remainder that you would be responsible for, most uh, insurance caps out at, like, around $1,500. And, you know, of course, you would need more than 1500 usually to get um, dentures. So... My recommendations would be, number one, you could contact your health department. Um, it, it's a sliding scale type of thing, I believe. I mean, at least for Florida it is. I don't know how it works in other states, but um, they base what your amount off of your income. And I think it could be anywhere from free. I, don't quote me on that. I don't know. Anywhere from free to, you know, like half off or like you pay a percentage based on your income. Um, then you can also contact uh, Medicaid because Medicaid uh, does cover dental. Um, certain programs do. Um, like I know for Florida, like you have to enroll in a health care plan uh, through Medicaid and you have to look at the different health care plans to see which ones cover adult dental because most of the time children are always going to be covered if you've got Medicaid. But some insurance programs don't cover dental for adults, um, but some do. <laughs> and uh, you just have to look into those specific plans to see which ones cover, and the ones that do usually do um, include uh, dentures in it. So that's the second option. Um, then I know in Florida, and I, I can't even think of the name of it, but there is some kind of charity organization where dentists will donate their time and services to people who are in financial need. Like they need, they need dental work done but do not have the means to pay for it. Um, so you can Google that, like dental charities or whatever. Um, also a good resource that is good for not only um, dental but for any kind of like crisis is 211. You just dial 211 and it's nationwide service through United Way. And I have had to use this quite a few times <laughs> when I was still a single mom. Um, but you just, you call 211 um, and then you tell them what you're looking for. You could say, um, I'm in need of dental work and I don't have any income or I'm on limited income. And then they'll bring it up in their database what kind of organizations are in your area that could possibly help. Um, this is not only good for dental. This is good for medical. This is good for, like, if you have problems paying your light bill or your rent. You know, if you're in some kind of financial crisis or if, you know, any kind of crisis you can think of where you need help, um, even cars, like I don't have a car and I don't have a way to get a car and I need one. There's charities out there that will donate cars to people. Um, so if you are in a situation where you need help with anything, it's good to give them a call because they've got all of the resources. They know of pretty much everything in your city that can help you with whatever it is that you need. I'm not saying that you're always going to get the help, you know, because you have to start 
uh, meet certain guidelines and then they've got you know their budget cuts and stuff like that like they're they're cut off like they can only serve this amount of people per month or even per week sometimes um, but you know it's still a good idea to give them a call and also if any of you know of any more resources that could specifically help people with dental then just post it in the comment section below because that is like um, you know next to anxiety uh, and fears the second main reason that people avoid getting dentures will not avoid but they don't get their teeth worked on is because of financial reasons like they can't they can't pay for it and it, it really sucks because like for instance my family is a family of five and you know we make a decent amount of money but like when you consider that we are a family of five and our bills like you know of course we have to have a larger house to accommodate you know our large family so our rent is more obviously then we have a car payment um, we just our money goes to bills like we don't have any kind of luxuries or anything like that yet we still make too much money but we really don't like we're broke half the time so um, there's a lot of people out there that are in that kind of situation and I do believe that there's some kind of resources out there that have to be able to like help seriously so if you guys know of any please 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 post it in the comment section below or if you know of any tips and tricks on how to you know get the talk the dentist down or work out plans with people like um, for instance with with my dentist I didn't have all of the money up front to pay for it like I I was quoted 5400 and I did not have it I, I just didn't have it and um, I called to cancel my appointment because I just I couldn't afford it and then he was able to you know knock it down generously and I really really truly appreciate that you know it means a lot to me that he was able to do that for me um, so what would have cost 5400 ended up only costing um, like 4150 so that was really really nice so I, that's another thing I would do is I, if you honestly can't pay the full amount you know talk to your dentist don't just call it quits and say I can't afford it see what they're able to work out with you um, another thing that I had to do because even though I had the money to pay for what he allowed me to pay um, it's still you know I mentioned before that I had it put on care credit my, through my parents because I couldn't even qualify for care credit but that's still that was hundred and eighty nine dollar monthly payments and when you're already straining to pay your bills as it is that's a lot to tack on I mean that's like you know a cheap car payment or something I mean it's it's another bill and it's hard so what we had to do was we had to um, analyze what we were doing with our money like really reconfigure our budget and make serious cuts in certain areas I mean like we buy Pepsi's now we're buying like the supermarket brand sodas um, coffee we're buying knockoff um, even cigarettes we started buying knockoff cigarettes because we just weren't ready to quit um, then um, I had Netflix at the time I canceled Netflix I mean it was only you know ten something a month but that's still extra money regardless of how little it is that's what you need to realize is little cuts here and there add up they add up so I was sitting there my mentality was okay I need to come up with hundred and eighty nine dollars a month somehow some way what can I do and then I started going through each thing that I spent most of my money on and cutting back and that eventually added up to where even though it was extremely difficult to do it was doable it was totally doable then another thing is um, you you if you are in any kind of financial situation where you cannot pay up front saving does help because when I think you know I just got my teeth done last year okay but I had went 10 years not doing it if over those 10 years I had saved money out of all of my checks from my jobs that I had and just saved 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 
and like came up with a plan like this is how much money I'm going to need so this is how much money I'm going to have to set aside and even if I only had five dollars to throw in there eventually that money is going to add up so I highly recommend you know you should do it anyways because you never know what you're going to run into in the future where you're going to need money and you know if you're not saving then most likely you're not going to have it or you're going to have to take out you know a loan or use a credit card and then you're going to be even more in debt so get in the habit of saving saving your money towards a goal and that really would help because <laughs> even if you know you're ready to have it now but if it takes five years to save well at least in five years you know that you're gonna have the money to do it so those are my suggestions and um, like I said if any of you have any other suggestions to add to that maybe you know some um, nationwide organizations or even if you say hey I live in Minnesota and this is what we have here please post it in the comments section below because I'm sure a lot of people will browse through that and find some kind of help so that's that for today. <laughs>